Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel for another DIY video. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make these really fun polymer clay barrettes or polymer clay hair clips, whatever you wanna call them. It is so simple to do. I'm gonna walk you through all the steps, so let's jump right in. So to get started, you're going to need some hair clips, and these clips are the perfect size to fit inside of the Row Clay Co. Barrette uh, clay cutters. So I'll have these things linked in the description box down below. I do have these clips for sale in my Etsy shop in small packs. If you wanna try this at home, you can find them there. I'll have them linked in the description box down below. Otherwise, you're just going to need some clay that has been conditioned, and I like to roll mine out to the thickest setting on my pasta machine, and then I just use my polymer clay cutter, just like always, to go ahead and cut my shapes out. And while I'm doing this, I am preheating my oven to 275 degrees to get it ready for these pieces to go in. Once you have all your pieces cut, I like to place them on a piece of cardstock and then put them on a baking sheet and cook them in my 275 degree oven for about 30 minutes. This is just a quick reminder that you can find my Etsy success guide ebook as well as my polymer clay complete guide to clay earrings ebook over in my Etsy shop if you're interested. I'll have a link in the description box below. To adhere the clay to the barrettes, I'm going to be using this Loctite 60 second glue and I just put some on a paper plate and I'm using a toothpick to just kind of rub it on evenly all over the top of the barrette, making sure all of it's covered, but also making sure that there's none getting on the edges. And if your clay was properly conditioned, then once it's baked, it will be flexible. As you can see, you want it to be flexible like this. This is the way it should be. If it's brittle or breaks easily, then something w went wrong in the baking and, and conditioning process. So I like that this clay is flexible and it can go around the rounded part of the barrette. So I just lay it down and press it all tight and then turn it over and make sure that I have the barrette centered evenly on the rectangle as well as left to right, making sure none of the bread is sticking out on the end. And I'm just gonna continue this process for all of them. There are so many different variations and things that you can do to make these barrettes unique. You could make extra little pieces, cut out flowers or hearts and lay them across the barrettes. You can do overlays or use the um, silk screen technique that I've taught in the past on these and make just really fun, all kinds of colors and style barrette. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're going to try this out. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.